let us come into your house, partner with you, and help you and encourage you. Or into your phone or your computer, wherever well, you're watching. Well, that's true, yeah. But thank you. Thank you for letting us do that. It's such an honor to serve you that way and be your workout partner. Hey, today is week seven of the Walk Fit Challenge. If you have no idea that what that is, go online, <laughs> go to ChristianFitnessTV.com, research, watch the first six weeks, get caught up. No, no, join us whenever you can, but this is week seven of our Walk Fit Challenge. And if you aren't familiar with what the Walk Fit Challenge is, it's really pretty basic. We are just encouraging you to get healthier, and one, a great yes. way to do that is to walk more. So we're encouraging you to get some kind of a step counter, uh, every phone has Android phones have them, Apple phones have built in apps or an app that you can download and just track your steps. Set a goal, say, okay, I only did a thousand steps today, tomorrow I want to do 1,200, or by the weekend I want to do 2,000. We had someone recently that's been on our leaderboard for ages. They were getting about eight to 10,000 steps a week. They felt challenged and just yes. contacted us the other day and said, you know what, you guys have encouraged me so much. Now my new goal is 15,000 steps. That's and they've, a already lot reached, of they've reached it like four or five days in a row. I'm like, 15,000, that's a lot. That's a so lot So congratulations. Of but anyway, so set yeah. a goal, be encouraged by that, see what other people are doing. You can go to countit.com and check our leaderboard, see where everybody else is, see how you stack up against everybody else. And uh, just, just have fun with it, but it's our encouragement for you to get healthier. You know, I think what's amazing about that is to go from 10 to 15,000 steps a day. You might think, oh my gosh, that is so much. It really isn't. If you're wearing, you know, uh, something that counts your steps and you put it on first thing in the morning, because from the time you get up in the morning and let's just say you're at home for a little while and you do laundry or you cook a meal or you take out the garbage or you, whatever you do, by the time you're done, at the end of the day, you go to the grocery store. How many laps do you actually make in a grocery store? I never thought about that. But if you think about how many aisles you go on or how many stores do you go to, some people go to more than one grocery store to get what they need because one store might not have it. How far away do you park? You know, if you're going up a stairs, you know, anywhere you go, try to make it just a little bit longer of a way to get there because by the end of the day, you can do that. Yeah. You can completely do that. You can get 10,000, but you can even do more than that. I think one of the main things is what's your motivation is, what yeah. encourages you. Something that I've noticed and I didn't really know about myself until we started this whole Walk Fit Challenge, our, um, the health company that we use, it's United Healthcare. They actually, if you sign up, they will give you money back That's true. or give you money credit toward, yeah. you know, buying an Apple Watch or whatever, you know, a Garmin or whatever kind of step counter. You can actually buy other products and things from their little store, but they will give you up to three dollars per day if you're active. So that's if you amazing. get 10,000 steps a day, you get a dollar. So what I'll do is, I'll, I, that's what I said, so he ridiculous. He loves to be challenged. But I'll look and go, I've got 8,000 steps. I'm about to go to bed. I'm gonna go downstairs and get 2,000 <laughs> steps real quickly. Cause if you get on one of these rebounders and you run really quickly, you can get it in you know, 10, 15 minutes. So I'll go downstairs, make sure I get my 10,000 steps just for a dollar. So I know that sounds ridiculous for one dollar, but hey, it's starting to add up. I'm, I'm storing up my little bank, my little health bank, so I can buy something pretty soon. But anyway, that's been my motivation, as ridiculous as that sounds. One dollar has motivated me to be more active. Well, and I think that if you think about what Robert's saying is that he is motivated by not just the dollar, but he's motivated by a goal. Right. And he wants to attain that goal. And we've talked about this in quite a few different shows, and it's make a goal. And if you don't reach it that day, then try for the next day. It's not to condemn you, but to give you something to reach. And I think that's the whole key. If you have a goal, you will push to finally get that. And I think the other thing is like for us, we really encourage each other and we encourage the people we know around us. You feel better, you sleep better when you start moving. Our bodies were created to move. And that's why we do this. I mean, that's why I was healed from a rare muscle disease. It's to give God glory. And when you think about treating your body as the temple of the Holy Spirit, which it is, then you are honoring the Lord. And it really helps your function every day. We were created to move. 
cars weren't invented when God was, I mean, he may have had them in mind. <laughs> We're going to do but, a show coming up on how many steps Jesus took, how far oh, he walked on a couple different so journeys. Many. So yeah, stay tuned during the Walk to the Challenge a couple of weeks from now as we go through our scripture. We're going to get to a point where we talk about how far Jesus walked. You're going right. to be amazed. But anyway, you know, good, it's, good stuff. We have a family friend, uh, Matthias Vandersteen, and they're from the Netherlands. And they said something to us the other day that just, I didn't know this. They don't drive everywhere. They walk and bike. They bike so, a lot. Yeah. yeah, so in the Netherlands, people bike a lot. And that's why, you know, if you, if you know anyone that's from Europe or from the Netherlands, a lot of them are very tall. <laughs> they're very short. Yeah, they're <laughs> and they're extremely healthy and they're very strong. But it's because they move. And I thought that was just beautiful when they said, you know, we were going to go do something. And they said, well, why don't we walk to the next place? Probably good we didn't because right now Laura's pregnant. But um, and it ended up being like a mile away. Yeah, it was about a mile a or so away yards. instead of a, cute, <laughs> a couple of, you know, houses away. But, um, but it was, it's interesting if you think about it we were created to move and once you do that it becomes such a part of you that when you don't you miss doing it it's like a car can you sit a car in the yard oh yeah it decays. what happens after a couple oh. of years it rusts it decays it, it, so anyway our body is the same way you got to move them right all right speaking of goals our goal through this 12-week challenge of course is to get healthier just so you feel better right. you can be more active but it's really getting into the word of god that's why we call it christian fitness not rob and lori fitness or some weird name <laughs> <laughs> we call it Christian fitness because we love to get into the Word of God because that's, that's I mean, we're, we're more concerned with your eternity than we are your physical yes. health here. Yes, we yes. want to be healthy now, but we want your soul to live in eternity and sit with Jesus through eternity. And we want to see you in eternity as well. So that's why we call it Christian fitness. And our goal for this 12-week Walk Fit Challenge is to go through the entire New Testament. And you can do it pretty easily. So we've got this handy little guide that Lori and I came up with. This is easily, in 12 weeks, this will get you through the New Testament. So we are in week seven right now. So if you're following along, hopefully you're somewhere in Acts 5 through Acts 24. And what we do is we'll listen to the Bible on you know, audio through uh, Uversion or somewhere like that. And um, we'll listen to the audio as we're walking or as we're exercising or as I'm downstairs, you know, running on my little rebounder, uh, we'll listen to the word. And then we'll pause it and have a little Bible discussion on a verse that jumped out at us. And for this week, what was it? Acts 5 jumped out at Lori. This is a great study. Acts so grab five. your cell phone real quickly. This. Join us for this study. So now I have to find it. <laughs> okay. Or we can look up at the screen. Well, we can, but I like reading it out of the book instead of just the screen. So verse 17, this is Acts 5, 17. The high priest and his officials who formed the party of the Sadducees became extremely jealous over all that was happening. So they had the apostles arrested, placed in chains and thrown into jail. But during the night, the Lord sent an angel who appeared before them. He supernaturally opened their prison doors and brought the apostles outside. Go, the angel told them, stand in the temple courts and preach the words that bring life. So in the early morning, they enter that, the, but. Yeah, that's the version that jumped out. I'm sorry, that's yeah. the verse that jumped out was. Go out, go out, an angel releases them. Hey, you just got thrown in prison for doing this, but hey, go do it again and preach this life. But I wanted to pay attention to some of the other translations because sometimes it's fun to, you know, look up a parallel, yes. look up the parallel verses. They all mean the same thing, yeah. but the way they're worded is really powerful. So look at some of these other translations. So that was from the Passion, which the Passion said, stand at the temple courts and preach the word that's bring words life. that bring life. New King James says, speak to the people all the words of this life. The NIV, and tell the people all about this new life, which I love that. NLT, give the people this message of life. And of course the ISV, keep on telling the people the whole message about this life they can have. I kind of like that, this life they can have is available. I love that. If you think about it, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Everything from the past is over with. But the life of Christ coming to dwell in you, it isn't, a lot of people think of it, okay, this is just here. No, your heart changes. You have a complete change of heart, but everything in your life changes. And what I loved about this was the disciples at one time lived a different life. And at this time, they've already received Jesus. They've already received the Holy Spirit. And you think about, they're so changed 
that they could have, which you see a lot of times happen, something happens and it's woe is me and oh my goodness, this happened and oh this and oh this. But what did they do? They listened to the Lord and the Lord even encouraged them that speak about the life of, of me, speak about life. And if you think about it, we have the capability of speaking life. Everything we say, when we say the word of God, it produces life. And so the Lord is reminding them, go and speak of the life. And it's a life of change, a life of health, of wellness. Beloved, I pray that you be in good health, even, even as your soul prospers. Your soul prospers by the word of God. So he, he's telling them, go declare, declare this to all. And it's astounding. I mean, read the rest of, of Acts 5 because, you know, they, they've been told they can't talk about this and they can't do this. And then because they're speaking life and there's such a change and because the prison, they were, they literally were led out of prison and the guards didn't even know about it. So it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing what the Lord did, but it's even more so what he does in us every time we are in this word and receive the words of, of Jesus in us and life comes about. And that's what he's given to all of us. So I think that's just, they didn't focus on anything, but go speak life, a new life to everyone, which is just amazing. I like that they were in prison. So you're yeah. imprisoned for preaching the gospel. And of course, God miraculously releases yeah. them. And what's the th first thing the angel tells them? Hey, go go preach again. Yeah. Wait a minute, that's what I just got arrested for. Yeah, but I just came and let you out of jail. So don't worry about it. Don't <laughs> do what I decide you to do, which is preach this good news, preach this new life to the people. So don't worry about it. I've just proven I can get you out of the situation. You don't have to worry about that side of it. Do what I've asked you to do. So instead of getting out of prison and that, you know, them wanting to run away and get as far away as they could from that and, you know, maybe tweet Oh, how I got out of prison. No, go preach the gospel. You don't need to worry about that side of it. So I love that protection and that comfort. Yes. That knowing that I don't have to worry about those things. Why would I worry about I'm not worried about the persecution. I'm not worried about what somebody mm -hmm. said on Facebook. I'm not worried about, you know, that I got a thumbs down on my latest tweet. That doesn't matter. What matters is telling this new life, the good news of what they're experiencing. And can you imagine? I mean, what a testimony. Hey, weren't you guys just arrested? Yeah, as a matter of fact, let me tell you how I got out, but let me tell you about this new <laughs> life first. So, I mean, I could just imagine, because you know the way the word spread and gossip and things spread, everyone in that town knew immediately that they'd been arrested and thrown in prison. And what happens the next day you see them out, wait a minute, weren't you, you were just thrown in jail, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I was, but let me tell you my testimony. So well, I, I think love that. it's such a beautiful thing when you think about how they were released from jail, no one knew. And yet here they appear in the synagogue teaching again, which is what they've been instructed by the Lord to do. And when he gives you an instruction, you have to follow it. It's not that you have to, but you want to follow it because the protection is there and there is something so big on the other side of that. So you can't think about what's happened. You just do what he says to do. Even Jesus's mother said, do whatever he says to do. And the protection is there. The life is there. The, the seeing the lives change for other people is there. And I just think that is just amazing because they were unaware. Even the guards were unaware. The guards kept standing and guarding the door. They had no idea what had happened. And no one did. And then they go back and try to find them. So just, it shows God is with you and he Absolutely. protects you and he will give you instruction. And if you listen to him, then yes, your life will definitely continue to walk forward as he speaks to you and instructs you each and every day because he's always instructing us. The Holy Spirit is always leading you. Yeah, so join us for this walk. Yeah, join us for this walk through the New Testament. Yeah. Um, this is week seven. We're in the book of Acts, one of my favorites <laughs> because it's the <laughs> Acts of the Apostles. So many amazing so things true. that happened in the book of Acts. So join us this week for week seven and walk through the entire New Testament through the Walk Fit Challenge. We are gonna work out a little. So we got into the Word of God, now we're gonna exercise a little. What we're trying to do is we're building your strength for this Walk Fit Challenge. So as you're going and you're walking in your neighborhood or walking in your house or on your treadmill or at the gym on a treadmill. Or at a we, park or, or at a park, anywhere. We also wanna increase your flexibility, your balance, your strength, and your endurance. So for today's show, if you have some dumbbells, go grab some dumbbells really quickly. <laughs> 
We're gonna actually work your strength through some dumbbells. We're gonna work endurance because we're gonna do it quickly. We're gonna be working your balance because we're gonna walk as we do it and flexibility as well. So we're working all these. Yeah, we're gonna work a full body part. workout today. <laughs> so go grab fun. your dumbbells and we'll show you what we're gonna do. We call it a countdown. How much are you grabbing on? I'm gonna go light just to start out with because we haven't really technically done a, a big warm up yet. We are gonna warm up though. Right. <laughs> so we're just gonna walk in place real simply just to warm up. It warms up the whole body. And what we're gonna do today is it's gonna be an interval training, but also a countdown. So we're gonna call it countdown interval. So let me explain what we're gonna do. We're gonna do some exercises. We're gonna work your shoulders and your back today, all right? And then tomorrow we're gonna work our arms. So if you wanna watch the whole week, shoulders and back today and then arms tomorrow. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an <laughs> exercise 10 times. We're gonna put our dumbbells down and we're gonna walk. And we're gonna walk, I don't know, somewhere around the studio. If we disappear, trust us, we're just walking around the studio. We're gonna come back here and then we're gonna do nine exercises. Something you can walk. do at home. Eight and walk, seven yes. and walk, six and walk, five and walk, four and walk, three. You get it, the countdown makes sense now, right? So we're gonna start with 10 reps, 10 repetitions. So grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, that's fine. If you're a beginner, go as slowly as you need to go. If you don't have room in your house to walk around the entire living room, just take a, you just march in place while we're walking around the studio and then come back. All right, so we're gonna work shoulders. I wanna start with just lateral raises and you don't have to go very high. So as I said, if you're a beginner, you don't even need weight. Just raise your arm up to the side. If you have some dumbbells, great, bring them up. Don't bring them up past your shoulder. You can impinge your neck and your shoulder. So just bring them up to about shoulder height. And we're gonna do 10. What is that, about three? I and have a little bit more, we're gonna start to speed fine. up a little. So we're gonna do them fairly quickly. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And we're gonna put them down. And when you put them down, you don't bend like this. You squat and drop them down. I and then bet. we're gonna walk as quickly as we can. So that was 10. Our next round, we do nine. Oh, I need to check my... So you really will get your reps in if... Whoops. I'm gonna check my step counter. <laughs> See how many steps we get. So you at home, if you don't have room in your living room, you'll just stand in place. Okay, so now we're gonna do nine. Same exercise. Sorry. Lori's gonna miss this round. No, nope, shoes Make sure your shoes are tied so you don't have an accident. There's four. And my shoe just came five, out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you walk. Where this gets really fun is when we get down to three, two, and one. You <laughs> barely have time to pick up the dumbbell before you have to <laughs> take your walk again. We did this the other day and it was, uh, it was funny. This time we're at eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and walk. <laughs> So hopefully you're doing this at home and you find a little path that you can do this with. So you could, whatever your path is, you can go around more than once or you could go outside and come back in really quick. Depends on how your house is. What are we on, seven? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as you see, we're working strength with the dumbbells. Flexibility by walking as much as we are, endurance by doing it as fast as you can. If you swing your arms while you're doing this, you'll get a little more cardio in, which is great. I'm going this way. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Crisscross. <laughs> and we're at six. So six quick ones. Oops, I'm sorry. Two. Six down. Six. And walk. So if by now you're starting, you should start feeling like you're warming up a little bit. <laughs> well, if you're walking as far as we are, you're it definitely warm up It is freezing in this studio, so I'm grateful for the warm. And five. One, two, three. And this is a show you have to participate in, all right? You can't sit at home and just watch from your couch. You have to actually participate in this one. <laughs> okay, that is interesting. Got to get my extra steps in. <laughs> I'm trying to get here before you. You're so fast. I count right, after. Four. One, two, <laughs> three, four. And go. All 
our floor director is also getting exercise because she's having to run between all the cameras to let us know camera which one's on. A workout. <laughs> yeah. And three. One. Three. That's it. Go. <laughs> And don't forget, you could just walk in place. If you don't have a lot of space and you're getting tired of going around a little circle, just walk in place and sweat, really pump your arms like that. Like he's walking around that thing twice. I'm trying to get my steps in so I don't have to do it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get home and go, oh, I still need a thousand steps extra. What are we on, two? One, One two. two. Is that it? That's Did we do three it. already? Yeah. That's the hardest part is remembering Where we what were. your countdown is. I'm going this way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I kind of got bored going well, think that about one it. way. Flexibility, balance, strength, and endurance. We're working them all right now. Okay, so it's Here's really the fun more one. about going one. One. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Elise, she's like, she runs over to the camera to go where on this one. Now she's got to run back. She's getting her steps in too. I've already got over 400 steps, almost 500 steps since we started this. Just this, yeah. Okay, new exercise. We're gonna work the back a little bit. So we're gonna do an upright, just row. Just pretend you're rowing. So you oh, bend yeah. just a little bit. Two. I was Eight. doing a different Four. exercise. Eight, nine, 10, and then we walk. So row and walk. You know, I think we forgot to mention that there's also squatting in this. So you really are squatting to pick up your weight. Yeah, it really is a full body workout. I mean, you're swinging your arms. And then once again, as Lori mentioned, you wanna squat to pick up your weights. Just bend a little forward a little bit, keep your back nice and straight, and you're just gonna row up to the chest. So that's what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now, and really squeeze your shoulders when you get them back here, almost like you have a tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Right. And you want to squeeze the tennis ball. So really squeeze that as you bring it up. Okay, go. What was that? Is that eight or nine? That was nine. That was nine? I hope so. Otherwise, we get another whole rep in there. <laughs> this is like follow the leader, actually, Rob. <laughs> Squat, pick them up, and eight. You're kind of ahead squeeze. of me. There you go. And walk. I'm really trying to see how many steps I can get in. <laughs> so again, as we mentioned, if you're at home, when we're walking around the studio, you just do this at home. Well, you have and a little that's rebounder the other to thing. get on. Yeah, get a rebounder. Actually, somebody told us we need to start figuring out how we can get rebounders to you. Okay, what are we on, eight or seven? Seven. One. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. And walk. I think you go faster than I do. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> got places to go. In this room. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get back over here. Six, right? Six, and walk. You have to try this at home. Great for your endurance. Get somebody to do with you because I can tell you, he's a great motivator. He's like a driving force. And, and if you have somebody with you, then you're trying to keep up with them. Or you're the leader, it just depends. And five, one. Three, four, five, and go. And you think about it, each time you're doing this, you're doing a little squat. So we're doing That's 10 rounds, picking up and setting it down. That's 20 squats for each one of these exercises. Right. I just forget what number we're on most of the time. That was five, right? Is this four? Yep. Four.
We encourage you to visit our website, christianfitnesstv.com. Send us your email, send us photos, let us know how your walk fit challenge is going. We just got an amazing email from um, someone that Great. said they've been watching us for 13 years and they just love this walk fit challenge. So to continue to stay with us that long, what a blessing that is. Darlene, you're a true blessing to encourage us that way. Oh, join us this. So if you're watching, make sure you watch um, tomorrow's show. We're going to be doing arms. So we're doing backs and shoulders today. Oh, one, two, two on this, right? Two. That's it. That's it. <laughs> watch tomorrow. We're going to do arms. So your shoulders and back will get a good workout today. Tomorrow we're going to do arms. And then the following day, we're going to walk in the park. And we want you to join us for that. Oh, that was an amazing. Because it's probably my favorite wildlife show. Yes. We saw an alligator, so tune in this week for an alligator visitation. One, that's it, go. <laughs> <laughs> we saw a snake, we saw all kinds of birds, and I, we saw something I've never experienced before. I've never been in a park where I saw hundreds of little birds, little tiny birds, and they're all, they fly up the tree and then they bounce around in the grass. Funniest thing I've ever seen. All right, 10 more. I don't know how much time we have in the show. Let's just go from five, there's only about a minute and a half left, <laughs> and we'll just end doing our exercise. But I just wanna do front raises. So again, just bring the dumbbells up to the front. Two, we'll just do five. Three, four, five. And at home, you can do these extra. Rewind the show, do them again. Yeah, repeat them or make something up. Yeah, do different exercises. And do the interval training where you walk in between. Is that walking? We're kind of speed walking, <laughs> race walking. And four. One, two, three, four, and walk. Oh, there's some good music for us, a little more upbeat. Increase our pace. This is a speed walking show. This isn't really just walking. Yeah, you walking. don't have to walk this fast. <laughs> speed walking. <laughs> I'm keeping up with you. Right, three. Wait on my little workout partner. One. Three. I did not do that right. Remember, squat down, don't bend over. I just bent over, kind of. I'm trying to. Uh... Oh, my watch just went off. I'm getting zone minutes, meaning my <laughs> cardio is up. That's how fast we're going. What was that? What are we on? Two? One. All right, we're almost done. Two. Join us tomorrow. We're going to work arms. Join us later in the week for the wildlife show. And just so you know, I don't know how you did at home, but I've gotten over 1,400 steps just in this little 15 That's amazing. minutes. Thank you so much for joining us. We love you guys. God bless. Have a great week.